Hey, it's Andy with IT Supplies. Canvas wall art continues to be one of the most popular ways that homes and businesses decorate their spaces. Canvas prints are classic and elegant, but with the right artwork, they can also be contemporary and modern. Today, we're gonna look at the three most popular ways to print canvas wall art, and we'll unpack the pros and cons of each method. At the end of this video, you'll be armed with the knowledge to move forward with the right printer for your business. So what are the three most popular ways to print a stretched canvas wrap? Let's get right to it. The first most popular way to print canvas is with an aqueous printer. Aqueous printers use water-based pigment inks. Epson, Canon, and HP all make aqueous printers for canvas printing. Epson calls their line the SureColor P-Series, Canon's are the Image ProGraph Pro Series, and HP's are the DesignJet Z-Series. So what are the strengths of using aqueous printers for canvas? For one, they offer the highest possible print quality. With ink sets of up to 12 colors, no other print technology can compete with the print quality of the best aqueous printers. Second, they offer archival ratings that are unmatched by other technologies. These ratings vary by manufacturer, but Epson's P-Series, for instance, they have a light fastness rating of up to 400 years. If you are planning to print canvas prints for a museum, there isn't a more archival print method. Third, they offer the most attractive entry cost. These printers typically cost between three and $10,000. This is the least expensive acquisition cost of the print technologies for Canvas. So then what are the weaknesses of printing Canvas wraps with aqueous inks? First, it has the highest running costs. Both the ink costs and the Canvas material costs are the most expensive of all the Canvas print technologies. So while the initial cost of the printer is reasonable, each canvas you print will cost between $1 and $2 per square foot. Second, it is the least durable way to print a canvas wrap. Because of the nature of water-based inks, they are the most susceptible to scratching, smudging, and cracking. This is especially relevant on the corners where the canvas is stretched and tugged around the gallery bars. Often aqueous printed canvases will fail in this area, and this is why many producers will use a roll-on or spray-on laminate like Clear Shield to give the canvas more scratch resistance. The second most popular way to print a canvas gallery wrap is with a solvent printer. Solvent printers use inks that have a liquid solvent carrier. This solvent uses heat to react with the coating of the canvas and etch itself into the top coat of the canvas. The leader in solvent art printing is Epson and their SureColor S-Series line. The most popular canvas printer in the S-Series is the nine color SureColor S8600. So what are the strengths of using solvent printers to print canvas gallery wraps? First, it has a running cost of less than half of aqueous canvas printing. Inks are 40 to 60% less expensive than aqueous printers, and the range of low cost canvases are more plentiful. Second, it provides much better scratch resistance and durability than aqueous printed canvas. This is due to the chemical reaction that bonds the solvent inks with the receptive coating on the canvas. Third, the nine color solvent ink set in the Epson SureColor S80 provides print quality that is nearly on par with the 12 color aqueous ink sets. This print quality, when paired with productivity and reduced running costs, makes a solvent printer a great choice for high production canvas operations. What weaknesses do we see with the solvent workflow for canvas printing? Well, first is the solvent odor within the print room. This may not be a factor for customers running in a large warehouse setting, but for those operating the printers in or near a home or office environment, this odor can be unpleasant. Second, solvent printing produces waste ink that needs to be disposed of by an authorized chemical waste disposal company. Scheduling this pickup isn't a huge deal, but it is an extra step that isn't needed with other methods of canvas printing. And this brings us to our third method of printing canvas gallery wraps, and that is using latex or resin-based inks. This print technology uses inks that contain a resin polymer that is melted as an elastic film over the surface of canvas. The two main players for this type of printing are HP and their vast line of latex printers, and Epson with their SureColor R5070 resin printers. So what are the strengths of latex and resin printing for canvas? First, this method provides the greatest durability and scratch resistance, even better than solvent printers. Because of the elastic film that the inks create over the surface of the canvas, the wrapped corners hold up especially well to stretching and bending. 
Second, using latex or resin print technologies eliminates the chemical odors and byproducts found in solvent printing. Latex and resin use water-based, no VOC carriers in their inks. This water carrier is then evaporated from the surface using heat, leaving behind the durable ink film without any chemical odor. Third, this is the best canvas print technology for grand format canvas prints, up to 126 inches wide. HP's Latex 2700 and 3600 both offer 126 inch wide print width capabilities while maintaining all of the benefits of latex canvas printing. These industrial printers not only offer the largest cap capabilities, they also offer the lowest running costs of any of the other canvas printing methods. And that brings us to the weaknesses of latex and resin printing. The heat that is used to evaporate the water carrier and cure the latex resin ink film has some drawbacks. First, the printers require 220 volt power to generate the high temps used in the curing process. This can be an additional expense up front to have an electrician wire two 220 volt receptacles. Second, it takes time and energy to bring these printers up to temperature so that they can begin printing and curing. This startup time is about five minutes, so it isn't a huge deal if you're printing a long, long run of canvases, but if you're printing a canvas here and a canvas there, this would be an inconvenience. Thirdly, the latex and resin print technologies use the largest droplet and have the smallest color gamut. These are six color printers, and while they are more than capable for 90% of canvas prints, for the most discerning canvas customer, there is a step down in print quality versus the other print methods. So there you have it. These are the three best ways to print canvas gallery wraps. They each have their strengths and weaknesses, so consider the scope of your canvas operation and what you value most about the results. If we can help you weigh your options, we'd love to spend some time listening to your specific needs and consulting you with a recommendation. Please give us a call or reach out at itsupplies.com. If you have any thoughts or questions about canvas printing, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you like this video, then like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanks and have a great day.